having crazy over designed and flashy animations on your landing page is hands down the best way to kill your conversions. If you want your customers to be distracted, annoyed, and not buy, by all means throw a bunch of complicated animations on your landing page. But if you want conversions, stick around because in this video, we'll be talking about all of the reasons why beautiful landing pages don't convert and why simpler, cleaner, more efficient landing pages perform a lot better and all of the tactical things that you can do to fix your landing page. So there's a huge misconception amongst businesses in both the e-commerce space and the B2B SaaS space that you need to have a beautiful landing page in order to get leads and sales. When I say beautiful, I'm specifically talking about landing pages that try to achieve minimalism at the cost of conversions. They have crazy Easy auto playing animations, content moving all over the place, parallax scrolls, auto scrolling effects, you name it. It feels cool and you would think that those pages would have better performance, but those pages are not actually designed for conversions and if anything, it's actually going to hurt your conversion rate more than it's going to help it because it causes additional confusion to users. The classic question I get every now and then when people approach our agency is, can you make our landing page look like Apple? I love their website and my answer to them is always the same. If you want a landing page that looks like Apple, we're probably not a good fit. Why? because Apple's landing page is not designed to convert cold traffic. They're not chasing leads or sales. People already know who Apple is and what they do. And so when they have crazy animations and scrolling effects on their landing page, it doesn't really deter people from buying. Apple is a $3 trillion brand. That's why it works for them. But the majority of brands are not. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you actually care about growing your business and turning your landing page into a revenue generating machine. And if you're not, you can probably skip this video because I can tell you with certainty, I am definitely not in the business of winning design awards. I'm in the business of helping other companies grow. So what you really need is a landing page that is clear, speaks directly to your audience's pain points, builds trust immediately, and drives action towards a single call to action effortlessly. How do you actually make a landing page perform better? It all starts by understanding the awareness level that your customer has based on your traffic source. If you're driving traffic from meta ads, for example, your customer is probably in that unaware or problem aware stage. So your landing page really has to focus on educating, building trust and rapport quickly, and clearly communicating the value of your offer to those users. Ideally, you do this through strong visuals, social proof, and a compelling hook. Compare that to somebody coming from organic search via Google, social media, or even Google ads, those people are gonna be a lot more solution aware and likely even ready to buy. In that case, your page can be a bit more direct, but still focused on reinforcing credibility, highlighting key benefits, and making the next step feel frictionless. Next, you need to help users reach your objective, whatever it is, as quickly as possible. If you're B2B or SaaS, that's going to be filling out a form, getting a quote, or reaching out. And if you're e-commerce, that's going to mean buying a product. The most ideal and best route is when somebody comes on your landing page and immediately converts in the first five to 10 seconds. The more typical route, however, is much longer in which your landing page has to convince users to take action. That convincing happens on a couple different levels. The most important factor is crystal clear messaging, especially above the fold, which is the area that statistically 60% of people will never scroll past, but it is the only area that 100% of your users will see. All your visitors care about at the end of the day is who you are, what you do, and what's in it for me. And that last part is the part that 90% of brands miss, which is what is that tangible benefit that I gain from your product or service? And how does your product or service benefit me in my day-to-day -day life? Every single day, I come across pages like these that focus so much on being trendy and minimalistic that they completely miss the point of conversions. I have absolutely no idea what these headlines mean whatsoever. They serve no relevance to me or add any value, and they don't even communicate the benefit or give me a compelling reason to actually reach out or buy the product. Or these pages that simply just repeat their company name in their headline, simply state what it is they do, or they have vague or generic headlines that add no value to me whatsoever. And then they wonder why they're not converting. What you want to do instead is have extremely clear and benefit-driven messaging like these examples here, many of which that we've actually done at our agency. These examples,
examples here have a lot more copy on the page, which might appear to be more clunky and less visually appealing, but I can guarantee you that they convert a lot higher because they answer all of the questions that I mentioned earlier. Just stick with the basics. Just have one headline that clearly communicates what that dream outcome is of your end user and why should I care, followed by always, always, always having a sub headline that basically reinforces your headline and explains what it is you do and how it is you do what you just mentioned in your headline and then potentially eyebrow text calling out your audience. You can use our free landing page prompt framework to come up with high converting copy in a matter of seconds, link in the description below. The next big thing is reducing cognitive overload. The human brain can only process so many things at once. Here's an example of an extremely poor page by Surf Basis that just completely overloads me with information with so many moving animations to the point that I think I might have a heart attack just looking at the screen. I've consumed absolutely zero information in the span of five seconds because of how many things there are to process at once. Or look at this example where there's multiple different elements on the page and the irony is in that trying to emphasize everything, they've emphasized nothing at all. To piggyback off this, the other big issue with the beautiful landing pages is that they follow asymmetrical or unconventional layouts that completely deviate from common design patterns. There's a concept in UX design called Jacob's Law, which is that people prefer a website or landing page to work in a very similar manner to other websites or landing pages that they're already familiar with. So when you have extremely poor layouts in pages like these, where text and elements are all over the page in unconventional layouts, it is 100% going to lead to lower conversions. What you want to do instead is follow a proven layout or framework that already works. This means headline and subtext right next to one another, a CTA button right underneath that stands out on the page and is benefit oriented, and lastly, an image or video that reinforces your value prop and complements your copy. In fact, we have a proven landing page framework in Figma, which is a prototyping tool for both B2B and e-commerce so that you can copy and paste this for your own business. Link in the description below. Next on the list is social proof, which are things like reviews, featured publications, or testimonials. Now, you need to have this in two different spots. The first is above the fold. When you look at the world's highest converting websites, brands that you all love and know, you will always notice that they put social proof at the very top of the website. That is the first place that you always see social proof. Not at the middle, not at the bottom, always at the very top. And the reason being is because psychologically, 60% of people will never scroll past the top section. So you need to give them a reason to do so by building immediate trust and credibility. Now, ideally, you want to have two forms of social proof at the top. And this is something we've A-B tested a lot, which is what we call stacking social proof. It basically follows the notion that the more credibility you build up front, the higher likelihood that somebody is going to convert. You also need to have social proof scattered throughout multiple critical juncture points throughout your page, such as in between value props, but also near your critical point of conversion, which is going to be your form if you're B2B or your add to cart button if you're e-commerce. So you're really building as much trust as possible and really pushing people over the edge to buy. The next big thing is reducing what I call FUDs, which is fear, uncertainty, doubts. You want to do this near your critical point of action, which might be your add to cart button or above the fold. You want to think about all the anxieties and fear that people have around buying your product or reaching out about your service. They're thinking, is this going to work? What if there's a problem with the product? How do I know my information is secure? These are all of the things that you need to address upfront. If you're B2B or SaaS, this can be done through things like free trials, no credit credit card required, easy cancellation, etc. We did this for soul thrillers right underneath their CTA button and we saw a 62% increase in conversions just from that one change alone. For e-commerce, this could be things like money back guarantees, return policies, or shipping or warranties. We implemented this for parcel safety right underneath their add to cart button and we saw a 34% lift in conversions. This information is already available to you. It's in your support tickets, it's in your customer support inquiries, it's in your sales call with customers. The next thing is having value prop sections, which are basically sections that convey the benefit of your product or service and answering that question of what's in it for me. And you need to have this scattered throughout multiple points on your landing page. When you look at the world's highest converting landing pages, you will always notice that they have multiple value prop sections throughout their page. I'm talking about four to five sections. You really need to treat your landing page like it's a salesperson. A very important thing is to make sure that your headlines for all of these sections communicates the benefit 
in the headline itself. Operate under the premise that somebody will only read the headlines on your landing page alone. They won't even read the body text at all because that's honestly how people scan websites. You want to avoid a scenario where you're using generic headlines that just repeat your brand name and avoiding headlines like here's what we do, what people say, here's what we provide, etc. Instead, focus on the derived benefit in the headline itself. So instead of just saying something like, why are we different? Actually explain why are you different in the headline itself. Each of these sections should have a CTA button so that somebody can convert at any stage of the journey. The last important thing is your final conversion action, which is going to be filling out a form if you're B2B SaaS or buying a product and adding to cart if you're e-commerce. For B2B, do not make your headline contact us or let's get started. I already know I'm on the contact section of your page. You don't need to repeat a redundant headline and it's a completely missed opportunity. What I want to see instead is a benefit driven headline that gives me a reason as to why I should reach out in the first place. This should be followed by three to five bullet points of additional benefits and social proof at the point of form entry to give me that additional push to get over the edge to actually convert. For e-com, you need to make the product selection process as seamless as possible. If you have multiple color options or SKUs, create a seamless flow from top to bottom and guide the user on what steps they need to take. You also need to make the conversion action seamless. If you look at this website here, when you add to cart, it completely refreshes the entire page just to notify the user that something's been added to cart, which is an extremely disruptive experience. And I can guarantee you that it's hurting this website's conversion rate. Instead, leverage a sliding cart that gives you immediate feedback that something's been added to your cart, but it also lets you upsell and cross sell people, which can increase your average order value. A quick bonus tip that not enough people talk about is really tightening up your space in every section and trying to tighten up and present as much information as possible to users without overwhelming them. There's no need for huge blocks of white space. And right? I see this all the time and it's a massive sin for conversions and I guarantee you it's destroying your conversion rate. These beautiful, minimalistic and trendy landing pages look awful on mobile specifically because they have so much empty white space and real estate that's not necessary whatsoever. It could all be consolidated to display more information up front, resulting in way more people scrolling on the page and actually converting. Now, something very important to understand, and this kind of goes against the title of this video, is that you do need a certain level of aesthetic on your landing page. It's not that your landing page needs to be ugly in order to perform better. In fact, I'm a very strong proponent of building pages that look visually appealing because I've seen firsthand how we've taken brands that have pages that look very poor visually and just by improving the design, we've seen substantially better conversion rates. The delineation to make is that when I say to make your design look good, I'm not talking about crazy animations and content flying all over the place. That will lead to lower conversion. I define good design as information that's easy to digest and information that's actually organized and a design that looks professional and it looks like the brand actually invested time and money to make their brand image look good, which is all done through things like consistent typography, spacing, colors, etc. My mantra has always been that we try to get the fundamental conversion elements down first and make sure that those are perfectly optimized and then we make it look pretty afterwards because that actually amplifies those results. SolarWave is a great example of an extremely high converting and conversion focused landing page that looks good and also looks professional at the same time. Same thing goes for this B2B page that ticks off all of the boxes of conversion focused elements, but it still looks professional and it still looks clean and efficient, which is going to help their conversions and all of those other elements a lot more. Using all of the strategies mentioned thus far, we actually applied this to the Lion Group's landing page. Their old landing page fell into that trap of trying to look trendy and minimalistic, but they suffered from poor messaging, design, and structure. We transformed their landing page into a revenue generating machine that led to a 187% lift in qualified leads and conversions. We also did this for parcel safety where we completely revamped our landing page that lacked all of the fundamental conversion principles, also not looking the best, and we transformed it into a high converting landing page that had powerful benefit driven copy, had a high converting structure, and visuals that complemented the messaging that ultimately led to an 80% lift in conversions for our client. 
Now that you understand why these crazy, overcomplicated, and beautiful landing pages don't convert, and the main principles that you need to actually fix yours, you need a plan to implement it. Which is why in the next video, I go through the four proven steps that you need to follow to actually implement all of these principles in your own website, and show you the proven steps that I've literally followed in the past to build million dollar landing pages. All so that you can create the best possible landing page for your product or service and convert more people than ever before. If you're serious about actually getting conversions, I'll see you in the next video.